hey guys welcome back for another video happy to be sharing another video with you guys so we are going to be having a relaxed video cleaning motivation is there a such thing i don't know but we are going to be doing it in this video we are going to be cleaning and having a nice relaxed cleaning i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you guys are ready because i'm ready and we are gonna start it guys so here we go enjoy all right guys so i'm just showing you how messy the kitchen is and also we're going to be moving into the dining room but first we are going to be working in the kitchen the kitchen is pretty gross this is right after dinner so as you've seen before in my previous videos after dinner it gets pretty messy and we have a lot of cleaning to do so we are going to be getting it all cleaned up all the food that's left on the floor on the tables just everywhere we're going to be getting it cleaned up and getting everything back in order
guys. So as we're continuing this video, we are almost done in the kitchen. We're just finishing up with these dishes, getting these dishes out of the way, and then we're going to be making our way into the dining room. So I know I said this video is more of like a relaxing video, a little less hectic. So I hope you guys are having a relaxed motivation and still getting it done. So continue being motivated guys. Here we go. here we go guys so we're moving on to the dining room we're going to get the dining room nice and clean we have a bunch of food laying around so we're going to get to that and also just trying to get all the food like out of the creases of this table i love the table but it has too many creases <laughs> but you know i deal with it so we're continuing cleaning the table and then we're going to move on to the floor and get the floor nice and clean and also as you see on the bench there's creases too so like i have to be digging in there getting food out which is kind of annoying but i'm not gonna say i don't like my bench because i love my bench and i love my table it's just certain things <laughs> that at the moment you're just like ah, like i just want to get it cleaned and that's it you know you want it simple you want it fast so sometimes i'm just like ah, okay let's get this done let's get it out the way quick 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 so frustrated with those creases but it's okay it's all good so right now i'm spraying down the table i'm gonna get this table nice and shiny and clean and then we're gonna move on guys Bright, the light is mine 
So we fixed the table. The table's done. Now we're moving on to the chairs. The chairs can get a little nasty, guys. So I like wiping them down. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I wipe them down all the time. But once in a while, when I remember, I try to wipe them down. Like if I see there's a lot of food on the chairs or just a lot of like gunk or whatever. Like if they look greasy, <laughs> I usually just wipe it down with the spray and just use an effect and wipe or paper towel or whatever. So now we're moving on. We're vacuuming the rug. Now y'all know there's probably a bunch of like food and stuff on that rug. So we're getting it clean and then also vacuuming the rest of the floor. You've been trying all along, but I got you on time. So we better wake up cause there's no. just making a way with the steam mop just getting this floor nice and clean so from the kitchen we're going to move to the dining room and make sure this floor is nice and sticky free So I'm just back in the kitchen. I just want to clear out these dishes before I move on. I want to get the counter just cleared off and just put everything where it belongs. So now guys, we're just cleaning up this fan. This fan is pretty dusty. You can see the dust coming off of it. So we are getting this thing cleaned up. I don't know about you guys, but I know a lot of dust gives me allergies and it goes bananas guys. So I'm trying to get this dust off and then we can move on. Now we have a dirty sofa guys. So we are gonna get it cleaned up. We're going to get our spot cleaner and get all these stains off of this sofa.
have not cleaned the steps for a while so i want to get it nice and clean as well because it also gets dirty and pretty just funky so i want to get it cleaned with the spot cleaner and you're gonna see guys it did have like a lot of dirt in it and so we're getting it clean we're getting it clean guys and we're gonna move on Right, guys you can see all that dirt that was on the steps we got it cleaned and now it is good to go so i did dump it in the toilet i'm getting it flushed and then a lot of times well i'm starting to do this now because now like when i do Put it in the toilet sometimes it could splash or maybe i don't notice and it like splashes all over or just gets on something so now i'm just gonna start like just spraying down the toilet or putting some of that toilet cleaner in it and just cleaning it up really quickly just the areas where i think it could have splashed on or just gotten dirty hey guys so i did the steps i'm a little wiped out i ain't gonna lie my pants are like soaked my socks are soaked and i don't even know if y'all can see maybe y'all can't i don't think y'all can i don't know see Ooh, and my socks too they're a little i ain't even gonna say a little but we got that cleaning in and we got it done so here we go let's continue you know so I wasn't going to do the area rug and the rug in the living room, but it did have a few stains and I felt like it did need to be cleaned. So I am going to be using the carpet cleaner and just getting those stains off the floor and getting the carpet cleaned up. Maybe we're not meant to be. There are plenty. And you see my son there. Guys, he is always involved. Everywhere I'm cleaning, he's there. Especially, especially when I'm using the carpet cleaner or the vacuum. He just loves standing there like a guard, watching it, just making sure nothing pops off. <laughs> so, yes, he is my little guard there. So, I want to end this video here, guys. I'm and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So much more to come. And I hope you guys stick around for it. See you next time. Bye. Yeah, and
guys welcome back for another video today we have some cleaning to do around the house if you're new welcome i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you're not new welcome back we're gonna get started with all new cleaning motivation have some laundry we have cleaning we have to do in my porch and we have some cleaning to do around the living room because there was just a bunch of toys thrown around everywhere and then we just have to organize certain places just out of control oh so we're gonna be getting to that as well so i hope you guys are ready let's get to it Today in this video, we are going to go in with a bunch of cleaning. We're going to be tackling toys. We're going to be getting into a lot of deep cleaning. We're going to be going to areas that are just down dirty, guys. So we're going to be getting to it in this video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys get motivated. Let's get to it. Had your number, I would let you know how I feel. You are up to me. Stop dancing to the music and the chase Like this was meant to be Take my hand I feel my heart beat And I don't want this moment to stop Time to go home Don't want this night to end Yeah, about time we stop pretending so now we're with the shoes guys these shoes always get thrown around especially with the kids and my babies they always come over here and start throwing shoes so i have to come over here and fix it up and shoes do get really dirty so i have to clean the shelf and around the shelf just because there's a lot of dirt that gets around with these shoes so that's what i'm doing just cleaning up any dirt that's all around or any dirt that's around and just getting it nice and neat Got chills down my back, you do it right The way you're holding me, no, I don't want this moment to stop No need to fight it, I cannot hide it We won't regret it, so come with me, maybe we're meant to be now there's just a bunch of crumbs laying all over the rug just a bunch of stuff that needs to be vacuumed so i'm gonna go around with the vacuum and just vacuum all around the rug getting the rug nice and clean and then guys but just then we are gonna get into some laundry so yes guys you know fun laundry not so fun we're gonna get into it we're gonna be doing some laundry folding some clothes so get ready guys cuz here we go know laundry is not that much fun at least not for me i got to be honest laundry is not my first thing to do i always have so much laundry to wash so much laundry to put away and it's just never ending so i usually do my laundry the same i try to pull things out that are easy like the towels any blankets pillowcases jackets i try to pull it aside then i try to get to the kids clothes once i get to the kids clothes i just take them all out put them aside as well and then just try to work my way into my clothes and my husband's clothes and just to make it a little easier because all these clothes are all mixed up guys and i'm telling you i'm not the best when it comes to laundry so like i said i always have a huge pile to do move you make even allowed can't get enough
light of a dream You're getting closer, night's almost over I might just ask you to leave now with me Can't get enough Alright, so we do have some more stuff to do downstairs, but for right now, I'm working my way upstairs. I'm going into the nursery, and there's just a hot mess in there. So we are going to get these toys out of the way. We're going to get everything put away, and we're going to get everything looking nice and neat. Know what I mean? Can't take my eyes off you. You are all I see. Can't take my eyes off you. This is what it is to be a mom, the good, the bad, the ugly. And yeah, the cute stuff is nice, but... <laughs> Kids are messy. Kids are pretty messy. So it's just a lot of work for the mamas, day and night. we work our way into the girls room which there is shoes thrown everywhere there's just toys thrown everywhere there's stuff animals thrown everywhere so we're gonna get everything in its place and refresh this room a bit we've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications all right guys so now we are going to be getting to the shoes the rack under the bed is pretty messy so we are going to straighten it out and get it nice and neat why don't you help me the way i help you you don't have to save me just be my parachute when i'm feeling down you're just not there making sure i'm okay why don't you help me the way i help you be doing the next one under the other bed we're gonna be getting this one nice and neat as well and fabulous There's just some loose shoes that I'm going to end up putting in the closet because we have a shoe holder there as well and get that put away. Now I'm just straightening out their bed now that everything is cleaned up from the floor. there's just a few shirts that i have to hang up in their closet they were just sitting there on the dresser so i'm just gonna get to it right now really quickly and get it put away Said your heart just skipped a beat And that you miss me 
it's always a now talk about messy bed huh so yeah this one is pretty messy we just have some clean fitted sheets to put on here and pillowcases but first we have a few clothes actually to put away these were just clothes that were downstairs that i brought up and just put on the bed so now i'm just gonna be taking them and putting them away in our dresser Now that that's done we're gonna get the bed nice and pretty so we are going to be getting the fitted sheet on the bed but first i'm just changing the pillowcases and switching them out and then we'll get to the bed so let's take it step by step guys Love you. fitted sheet on the bed finally and our bed is huge our pillows are pretty heavy so like it takes forever to get done but we are getting it done we are getting it done guys Next to you, it's you. awesome so now i am just throwing these pillows on top and we are finished Life. all right guys now we're moving on to this dusty shade that i have not cleaned forever so this is like my little mini laundry room i like to call it right now i am going to go in with the spot cleaner and just spray it completely down just to make it easy so the dust can come like right off it does a great job so let's see we're gonna sit here and get this window nice and clean or at least as clean as possible get this shade 
just dust free. So now I'm just going in with the spray and I'm just cleaning off this door. It's already dirty, so I wanna get in there and just clean it off. all right guys so i'm just going on my porch we literally just a couple months ago replaced the floor and we had to get new walls up because it was like literally falling apart this is what it is now it literally is way better than it was before we just are not finished we're not there yet we still have to put a floor on there finish painting it up and stuff so right now we just have it really like a storage and obviously this rug we have here that everyone steps on <laughs> And it's just neglected, guys. It's been neglected. So I'm gonna go in and try to renew it, try to get it nice and clean, get it as clean as possible. I know it's probably not gonna be 100% with these stains. I mean, it's been a while since I've even tried to vacuum this thing. We are gonna go in and try as much as possible to get it clean or at least decent. Okay, so I have to say this rug is way better than it was before. There were some stains that were pretty hard to get, but I did try to spray it down and just scrub it out. For the most part, it did lighten up a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like this whole rug was completely yellow and now it just has like small yellow spots and <laughs> they're much lighter. So it was definitely an accomplishment and I'm pretty happy now that this rug is pretty clean. Why don't we talk about this? Why don't you stay? All right guys, so now we are gonna get a little dirty here. This thing was dingy. Like I really didn't know it was this dusty guys, this dirt and stuff in it. But of course, like I said, the rug in the porch just made it twice as dirty. Now I just stopped what I was doing, put it down, went in with the spot cleaner, the steamer, and just cleaned it. I did open my window behind me so it was wide open and also I was in the middle of cleaning my kitchen so it was fine. I just... <laughs> Now I'm just getting all these hairs that are stuck in here that are the worst. It's the worst when you get the hairs stuck on these rolls. So hard to take out. It wasn't a lot though, so I just took it out by my hands. And 
let me tell you guys this thing looked so much better like you can see how much cleaner this machine is it looks awesome now compared to what it was this thing is like squeaky clean All right, as I'm finishing this up, guys, I want to also finish up this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you are new and this is your first time watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching again and see you back on my next video. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we want to... Because we wanna, we wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun The trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up Have the time of our lives The night is in welcome so happy to have you guys if you're back again here we go we're at it again we are back to do another cleaning motivation video do not mind the background and let's get started a beautiful day my family in the background but i decided to do the introduction of this video at the park with the family and you just have a good time get motivated and enjoy oh god and here we go let's get some sun baby it's time to go guys so we are gonna get started we have a funky sofa that definitely desperately needs to be deep cleaned a bunch of stains on it we are going to go in and get rid of them everything's always falling on the sofa when you have kids guys that's what happens you get stuff on the sofa you get sticky fingers on the sofa you get messy fingers on the sofa and sometimes they even sneak to the sofa and eat on it which i prefer they don't i always try to get them to eat on the table but they're little kids so they like moving around they find themselves running to the sofa during their meals or during their snacks and everything gets caught in the sofa and on it so we're just going in we're getting it nice and clean and you're gonna see how it comes out nice and new getting on top of the sofa getting also the top of it cleaned as well because also smells usually linger on the sofa so i like giving it a clean from top to bottom so we're getting in there guys and we're getting this sofa clean 
and smelling good. But you play me like there's no tomorrow. You should know that. guys so now we're gonna go in with my little gadget here we're gonna be just taking off any loose fuzzies i like to call them getting them out of the sofa getting the sofa nice and clean and lint free or whatever you want to call it i like just calling them little fuzzy things getting the sofa to just look a lot better you can love me but you play me like there's no tomorrow you should know that As you can see here, we did take a few pieces of the loose lint off the sofa. And yeah, we're just continuing going in with my little lint brush here. I'm fine. So it does work really well. They do have uh, ones that you can use electronically, like you could put batteries in and use it that way. They have those. I have not tried those yet. Probably later on I will give it a try, but this one works pretty well and it's just so easy to use and so quick. Now, the moment we've been waiting for, guys. The mess under the sofa. So there was a bunch of snacks under the sofa. Crumbs, a sandal I was looking for, <laughs> even a hard behind muffin. We just got a bunch of stuff under here. So we're going to get this cleaned up, guys. And also, we're going to get it deep cleaned. So give me something to do yeah. So now I'm just going in with the vacuum Getting the last pieces of crumbs Or anything else that might be still there I'm getting it up right before I start the deep cleaning y'all Everybody will be on me Wanna join me when I take a shot I'll be the center of attention Like I was some kind of astronaut Cause I'm shooting for the moon tonight and so i was definitely going in i got under the area rug as well because there were some crumbs there too so i'm just getting it all out making sure it is nice and clean guys making sure it is spotless hey guys all right so i lifted up the sofa bunch of crap under there so i just cleaned it up i vacuumed it but i am going to be doing deep cleaning under there and on the rug as you can see i showed you guys is pretty like brown and so i'm gonna try to spray it down scrub it a little bit and then go in with the carpet cleaner to see if that has more of an effect we are gonna get down guys i hope y'all ready for this i want to get in there and i want to do some deep cleaning here we go I 
right guys so i'm going in with my two sprays i'm going in with my folex and i'm going in with my shout and i really think it did do the job this rug was pretty brown and just dark from the stains from other the sofa i'm just spraying it down i'm gonna scrub it pretty good and then i'm gonna go in with the deep cleaning and that pretty much does the job i'll be the center of attention like i was some kind of astronaut that's the truth for the moon tonight and i got a feeling i'm gonna crash some stupid party tear the ceiling down in front of everybody if someone's pouring up a drink i'm calling shot it I'm just an accident waiting. All right, so best part, deep cleaning. So I'm going in with my carpet cleaner and just getting any dirt, any stains that are on this rug. And yes, there probably is many. There are many. <laughs> So we are just getting it up, getting it clean, and also giving it a good set because, you know, after a while, all this stuff sticking on the carpet ain't going to be smelling good. So we're just getting this carpet nice and clean and smelling good. So I really was taking my time with this, guys. I was really getting in there. Like I said, there was a lot of stains and also the area rug. I just wanted to get in there as well and get it deep cleaned. I am definitely going through, taking my time, making sure I get all these stains out, especially on the spot where I did spray. We getting in there, guys. We getting it cleaned and we doing it. We're doing it and we're getting it done. Sing for me, darling. It's been quiet. Now you guys know my son cannot miss the action he is always around when i'm depleting y'all it never fails it never fails so yes he is there watching me and making sure i do my job right class after class i keep hoping you'll come around drown in a fight to what whatever can be found because i've given in to all my demons they leave so now that we are done with that we are moving under the recliner it was a little dirty so we did get a few things off the carpet i'm just vacuuming it now and then we are going to deep clean under here as well we have been waiting for a lifetime just keep on fading in all these photos caught in the memories and captured in the highlights just keep on wasting Dun, 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 dun. 
Okay, so we have some crown marks that I found, unfortunately. No worries, no worries. We are gonna get this out. I am gonna scrub in. I'm using my Folex spray. We are gonna get these marks out, or maybe we won't. Let's find out. <music> So I'm just keeping it moving. I'm just scrubbing, scrubbing, then spraying again. And then I'm continuing to scrub. And as you can see, it's coming off. It is taking a bit of time, but after a long struggle of scrubbing it off, it definitely all comes off. But it was orange and it was a lot. I was expecting it to take a while for it to come out. But at the end, there are results. And that's what I like to see. I care, just wanna stay close, don't take that We ain't gonna leave ya, I don't wanna sell the flesh Beautiful, so we got it done guys, all the marks came off it just needs to dry now and it will look mwah, brand new mission accomplished all right so now we're moving upstairs into my bedroom it is a hot mess just messy everything's laying everywhere so we are going to get this fixed and we're going to do some cleaning because it is pretty dusty and also clean this carpet because there are a few stains and i do want to get behind these dressers as well because it is pretty dusty and stuff fall all the time behind my dressers so we are gonna get that cleaned up all right so now i'm getting behind the dresser i'm just checking to see what things are behind there it wasn't that dusty surprisingly so what i'm gonna do in a few i'm just gonna deep clean behind there just make sure dust behind there is just gone and just give it a good clean just in case because things do fall behind there things spill or stuck on the carpet. I just want to make sure it's out. We're just continuing with the deep cleaning and we are going in. We're getting this carpet nice and clean. I love the end result after everything is done. It just looks so spanking new and so spanking clean. I love it. And there goes my guard there watching over while I deep clean. So now I'm getting behind the dresser and I'm going to be doing the same thing, just deep cleaning as well. Now I'm just moving the stuff back on the dresser, putting everything just a lot neater. And I, I swear, like in a day, it's just gonna be all crazy again. That's just <laughs> that's just how it is. Things pile up, we leave things laying around, and then the next few days we gotta go back and fix it again. So that's just life, right? <laughs> Oh, 
So now I'm just finishing up this side. Once I get this side done, I'm gonna move to the other side. So now I'm just cleaning up my little table here. It's pretty dusty, so I want to clean this table off, clean my little jewelry box, and get it just nice and clean. So it is looking way better, less dustier, and more put together. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to move in to the deep cleaning on this side. So we're going to get this rug nice and clean as well. so we got it done guys this room is nice and clean and just a way less messier a lot neater except those pillows i don't know what's going on there but we got it done and we are through guys thank you so much for watching i will catch you in the next video and i hope you guys enjoyed and hey if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a nice thumbs up see ya Welcome back for another video if you're new welcome if you're not new welcome back so happy to have you guys again today we have a clean and motivation and also i'm going to be showing you guys a new product i'm going to be using in this video i hope you guys like it i definitely fell in love with it it's so handy and i can't wait to show you guys and i hope you guys are ready and we're gonna get started this day is so beautiful and i'm loving it i'm loving the breeze i'm loving the sunshine and it's nice i'm here with all my kids yeah i'm just ready to get this motivation going so we are gonna get started here we go all right guys so we are gonna get started with these toys there are too many toys in this ottoman and i want to go through it and try to declutter it as much as possible i'm gonna go through these toys and see what toys may be broken or no good i'm gonna be tossing them and also any little tiny toys i see i'm gonna be putting them in some plastic bins just to get them a little more organized and just looking way better because this looks just super crazy and i definitely have to get it fixed above all just look a lot better we're gonna be doing that and don't mind me if my voice just sounds a little cracky my allergies are just ruining me guys my allergies are acting up and i'm just so congested but we are gonna continue we are gonna get this done and we're gonna get through this video guys here we go enjoy while i declutter this ottoman and just get rid of this craziness I'm going to be sharing a product that I've received from a company that I fell in love with, guys. So I'm going to be sharing it with you. It's awesome. It really comes in handy. So I'm going to be talking about it later on in this video and showing you guys what I got.
as you can see i took out the bins the plastic bins i'm going to be using and you see all these little toys thrown in there so i'm going to be grabbing all these little toys and put it in these bins to make it a lot more organized definitely happy that i'm finally getting through this because it was driving me insane So now we're just vacuuming the ottoman, getting it nice and clean, so then we can go ahead and put the toys back in here. Alright, so we're just tossing those toys right back in there, the toys that can go in there. It does look a lot better at the end. Totally worth it. Somehow you're fine with it Even when I'm chaotic You see the shade in the cold It's just my bad temper What am I supposed to do? When the flame's going high With my, my bad patience I hate it always falls on you But you know it's not about our love fading Now I'm just getting these bins together guys, getting them together, putting them nice and neatly away. Well, as neat as I can put them away and getting these bins together. There are some markings I need to get off of the wall, so I'm just using this miracle sponge and I'm gonna be taking all the marks off of the wall. They're on the wall and also on the floor. So we're gonna get through this, get these walls and also the floor nice and clean. to the other wall as you can see i tried to show it a little bit kind of hard to see but there were some marks on there some crown marks so i'm gonna scrub it in and getting these walls cleaned as well floor guys my one-year-old took a crown from my oldest her backpack was on the floor and he got in there going crazy on the floor with some crowns so we're just cleaning that up i try not to leave crowns laying around just because of this but it happens and they're pretty persistent when they're little we're just getting it cleaned up no problema no problem we're gonna get it cleaned up and it's gonna be nice and looking new Blow my mind with a warning. You dug in. All right, guys.
guys so here it is this company is called high life and this is a portable garment steamer it's very simple right when i opened it i was like wow this thing is amazing it's so simple you just open it up on the top you pour the water you plug it in you press the start button and you're ready to go it does come with the little brushes this is good for garments fabrics and anything you just need it to straighten out as you can see i'm doing it on the curtain the curtain is just a little wrinkled and i just want to show you guys an example of how it works so i'm just going to be using this curtain and you will see how it straightens and also i'm going to be using a shirt that i'm planning to wear this weekend we're going to see how great it really is so the water tank holds up to 240 mls heats up within seconds you can use it with any fabrics including bedding curtains and clothing so easy to use and store and it has a automatic turn off feature that makes it safe to use really does the job and you see how small it is for it being so small it works really great and it's just easy like i've said before i like easy and efficient so this was really great to use and i'm gonna tell you a little secret i do not like ironing guys i don't like ironing of course i do it but it's not my favorite thing to do also with the iron you can mess things up it leaves stains on the shirts sometimes especially these type of materials so this is so easy to use and so much safer for your clothes and all types of delicate fabrics <laughs> Also, if you're traveling or going away for a wedding or you're out for business and you need something to take with you that is going to straighten out your clothes, this is it, guys. This portable garment steamer by High Life is awesome. Definitely have to check it out. It's on Amazon. I'm going to leave the link below. And also, you could check out the ratings. The ratings are really good as well. And you can see for yourself, it works great burning temptation i just cannot hide beautiful guys beautiful all right guys so now we're moving into the bathroom i'm just moving this towel i do have the curtain washing i had to put something there just to cover up this big window and you know we didn't want to be showing our goodies now i'm gonna be getting this bathtub cleaned and i'm just using barkeeper's friend to clean the tub and all around the tub and also we are going to be cleaning the window but before that we're scrubbing now the bathtub and i just let the powder sit for just a few seconds because we wanted to get in there and get it nice and clean we moved into scrubbing and after this we're gonna move to the walls and the windows to the wall to the windows here we go so now we're using my steamer we're getting this window nice and clean there's just a lot of dirt maybe mildew up in here so we're, we're getting this clean and we're getting in there guys we're getting in there you're gonna see the result how nice and clean this turns out Look at all that dirt crazy we do have a tree out back as well 
and it kind of hangs a little over the house like the branches do does kind of get on the window like the leaves and just makes it a lot dirtier not a problem because we gonna get it clean and you will see in a moment how clean we really get it funny how the story goes little hope of bigger dreams down singing louder than the crowd ah. using the steamer you see like all the dirt come out so easily guys dirt comes right off without having to scrub so hard it's amazing cleaning the window because it is pretty dirty as well so i'm just wiping it down and then we're moving on so my bathtub usually gets clogged pretty easily so with everything that i was doing it got clogged no worries we're gonna plunge it out and get it cleaned now moving to the walls we're just scrubbing the walls getting the walls nice and clean i'm using the clorox spray that just works best for me it actually you know gets in there and if there is any mildew i feel like clorox is the best to just get it out but obviously we know these products are pretty strong so i always open a window and ensure the air circulates and i'm not getting killed with these chemicals <laughs> but they definitely do the job and like i said i like quick and efficient <laughs> I don't know what it is about you, but uh, you look so fine riding shotgun in my car. Top down when driving on the highway. The wind in our hair makes us look like movie stars. And you make me sing, yeah. Oh, you make me sing, yeah. Oh, you make me sing, yeah. I'm just refilling my Febreze. This thing literally works so good. It's like a double Febreze plugin. So I usually use the Gain scent, which smells great. Either the Gain or Downy one. They both smell really good. So there were just some spots on the door that I wanted to get rid of. The door had these little splotches. I don't know. It could have been from me doing my hair last time. And sometimes the dye or the toner gets on the door. So I just had to go through and just wash it up. And now I'm moving on to the bottom of the bathtub. 
using Clorox again. I let it sit for a bit and then I go in and just start scrubbing, getting any type of mold or anything that needs to come out, just getting it out. Doing what you can to have a good time. But baby, when I'm with you, I had the time of my life. All right, guys, now the toilet is getting pretty bad underneath so i want to cover it up with some caulking and i think that's what it's called or caulk what whatever whatever this is called with this and also using the towel and just spreading it out i'm also going to get in back of the toilet because it's really like yellow and messed up i did wipe it down and i let it dry for a bit and then i'm gonna go in with this it does look so much better after I do it. I was so happy to see it way better. Now I'm just going in and spreading the caulking um but it's a bad angle because my bathroom is so small guys so sorry about that i'm just letting y'all know that i'm just going in with this and just getting the walls so you can kind of see it you can kind of see it and it is looking way better Already memories now i just don't really care what you feel what you feel what you feel to finish off the bathroom i'm just cleaning up the toilet really quickly cleaning the toilet bowl and just gonna clean around the toilet give it a nice clean touch so i'm just going through with disinfectant wipe and going around the toilet to clean it and it's pretty much almost done au revoir we are done guys i want to thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i will see you back next video for more cleaning motivation guys thank you back for another video today we have a bunch of different things we are going to be doing i hope you guys had a fabulous memorial day i hope you guys enjoyed your vacation so now it's just back into business and getting things done that need to be done so we have a bunch of cleaning to do we're going to be cleaning in the kitchen and also doing a summer reset so we are going to be bringing the summer clothes in and taking the winter clothes out out in the kids room it's just areas we're gonna be getting to as well yeah we're gonna be doing another awesome cleaning motivation we are gonna get started we're gonna get right into it i hope you guys already hope you enjoy and i hope it motivates you to just get things done so here we go all right guys so here we go we are starting with laundry we're just going to be putting a load in the washer and then we are going to move on to the next task <laughs> We have a bunch of cleaning to do around the house. We are going to start with the kitchen. We have a, a yucky microwave we have to get cleaned. So we are going to get it sprayed and wiped down. <music> Fed up. 
up with heartbreak And you know that you can't take another day Oh, that's not okay Now that it's looking nice and put back together, we are going to be moving on to the next object, and that is brrr, oh, the toaster. The toaster is yucky and just needs to be definitely cleaned out. We have a bunch of crumbs we have to empty out and get these plates nice and clean, and then we are going to be cleaning the whole toaster, and you are going to see how nice and shiny it turns out. Now I'm using my smile sponge and I'm using the wax to clean this toaster. You're going to see how great it turns out. I'm going to be wiping it down as well and we are going to see the results in just a few. We can feel all the obstacles go amazing guys look at this toaster it almost looks brand new so now i'm just wiping the outside of the microwave wiping it down just to get it nice and smooth looking beautiful guys yes nice and shiny and clean so now we're just gonna put the plate back in the microwave, which I almost forgot. And now we are moving on to the refrigerator. You see how dingy it looks. We're also gonna do the same thing and we're gonna wipe it down and get it nice and clean. see this stain I'm wiping it down with smile sponge you're gonna see how it comes right off awesome guys so nice shiny and clean and we also got the ice tray cleaned as well so we're gonna go in and get the front of the stove cleaned up you can see how dirty it is so we're gonna go in with the sponge and the paste the stove we're cleaning on top of the stove just taking off any type of residue that might have stayed and getting it just nice and clean also it's gonna look nice and shiny up making sure everything is just wiped down for the day just trying to get this kitchen put together <laughs> Now we're just moving on to the dishes. We've got a bunch of dishes to clean up and get them washed. So we are going to be doing that and getting that done. He's a vagabond. He won't love you better. I can't watch you sinking down on the bottom ships. 
Now there were just some marks on the floor that were gonna get cleaned up as well. I love cake guys, but I would treat myself. This is the last piece from Memorial Day. And it's hitting the spot. You know when you really have to like treat yourself? This is it. I am in love with cake. It has to be vanilla, but I love cake. Amazing. So I'm just gonna enjoy this really quickly. Let's see if I can. now that i'm done my dessert guys we are moving down to the floor so we're getting this floor nice and clean with my steam mop i will be leaving the link down below if you want to check out this steam mop i got it on amazon and it is amazing you guys see it all the time i use it most of the time and it works great now I'm just moving on to the step here. The guys were playing with some chalk and they ended up getting this step and I just needed it. Yeah, I just needed to get it together, guys. We have a messy room that we're gonna be getting to. We're just gonna be getting it together, cleaning it up and getting everything nice. vacuuming i'm just trying to vacuum this rice that was on the rug you're gonna see a bunch of rice in a minute that's in this corner i had to get it out it was actually a egg they made it like a maraca and they used rice to make the maraca but my two-year-old opened it and it spilled everywhere so i'm just getting that cleaned up and getting the rug nice and clean now i'm just going in and vacuuming the rest of the living room i'm constantly vacuuming this living room because yes guys of course it is always getting dirty and things are always getting spilled on it i don't matter. just wiping down this table and getting it nice and clean and dust free too because it was a little dusty all right guys and we are moving forward to laundry we have a bunch of clothes we need to put away guys and that's what we are going to do Despite the loss, I'm a 
here, gotta get across Whether you like it, like it or not There is a moment meant for us And now you made it, but I already played this Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me, shadow me, I won Oh, oh, the sky is on fire The lake has turned to a golden sun guys there is not just one bag there are two bags for this video so we are on the second bag and we are finishing up with this laundry but I already played this not interested open your eyes let's get it done take my hand just follow me shadow me I won downstairs we are moving upstairs first starting in the bathroom I just have to hang up this shower curtain that I've been meaning to hang up and just haven't gotten to it also the curtain to the window I haven't gotten to that no now so we are gonna do that really quickly and then move on to the room So now I'm in my room. I'm just going to be putting these clothes away. Also, I need to fix up my bed and give the carpet a nice cleaning with my vacuum. It's silent now. We don't say a word. We're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes from the words we said. Yeah, it kind of broke my heart. Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think. I'm trying my best to hold on, but I feel myself giving. You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this. We hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't wanna change who you are. The things you say is always one step too far. But I know that I've played my part. I'm hurting you as well. So I had the light on in the last clip and for this one I felt like I didn't need it and it looked better without the lighting. I turned off the light. So that explains why the coloring is or just different. So now we are moving on to the bed. I just want to give my bed a nice reset just putting the pillows in the covers and getting my new fitted sheet on. putting my nice heavy puffy comforter back on and spreading it out and then I'll be putting my pillows on the floor back on the bed now we are moving on to the vacuum there is a bunch of stuff on the floor that just needs to come off so we are gonna go in with the vacuum and get the carpet super nice and clean
now we are in the girls room finally brought up a toe I got a bunch of clothes out I did wash them and then I just felt to put them back in the tote to bring them upstairs because there was just a lot. So I did that. So now I'm taking the clothes back out and I'm putting all the coats, all the sweaters in the tote, getting rid of them for the summer. And it is a good feeling because there's just so much more space in the closet now. This feeling like it's starting now, starting now. I feel adventurous with you, and there is nothing that can hold us back, hold us back. We can do what we want to do, cause we got all the time in the so now I'm just going through their clothes. There is mostly pajamas in here. I mean, it's just a mix of, of clothes, of shirts and pants, but there are a lot of pajamas. Going in, separate everything, and just get it together. Like I do. We can run away across the ocean. Baby, what you say? We can leave today. Anywhere we'll go, we'll be all right. It's all about you. the drawers I'm just getting it all together putting mainly like the pajamas and the pants in the drawers I am going to get the girls room together I'm just waiting I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do if I'm going to do a certain theme or if I'm just gonna just mix things in there so I'm going to wait and see because I want to try to get a bunch of new stuff for the room so that's why i haven't really done anything with the walls or just gotten anything put in just yet because i want to get everything all together do a video on it eventually <laughs> i'll find some ideas and we'll get it together just hold my hand and we will be okay I did put all the shirts and all the dresses on the hangers and now they're gonna go straight into the closet and I'm just tidying up a bit.
conclude this video right here guys i want to thank you for watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my channel to watch more and more cleaning motivation and motherhood videos thank you guys and you have a wonderful day